Good evening. I'm Jay from Pageant Friends. So, kumusta naman yung runway challenge ka ganina? It was very exciting because everyone was cheerful and everyone was just giddy and happy. So, that gave me the confidence to just walk on the runway and enjoy my night. So, ano naman yung pinakamahirap na challenges sa Miss Universe Philippines so far? Um, I think, of course, we did your training for the passerella and I was very challenged with the turns but I'm practicing it very well and I'm very patient with myself. Okay, so tell us more about yourself. I'm Patricia Pleda Santos and this is actually my first ever pageant. I've never made pageants before because I was really thinking that I'm not good enough. But at 26 years old, I don't want the time to pass me by and regret anything. So I'm now here after so many years finally believing in myself and standing for all girls that have been put in before. Okay, let's start with the fast talk. First question, what is the most impressive thing you know how to do? The most impressive thing that I know how to do is I've been an outreach organizer for three years now independently. So that's very, very, um, that's very important to me because I've trained myself to help others by encouraging others also. And it's been challenging, but I've done it for three years and I'm very happy about it. What question would you most like to know the answer? I think if there's one question that I would like to most know the answer to know was is actually there's particularly nothing because I'm the type of person that just goes on in the moment and I think that eventually answers will unfold as we challenge ourselves in our everyday life. Okay. So what do you like to do in your free time? In my free time, well, I've been busy with my outreach program that I did last year. So my free time was pretty much about that. But right now, I'm also enjoying solo traveling, reading books, and writing in my blog because I love writing about women, traveling, independence, in my blog, and also a blog writer. Are you more an indoors or outdoor person? Um, I'm actually a mixture of both because I do believe it's important that we have time for ourselves and our family indoors. That's where we recharge and we reset our lives. And it's important to just keep you outdoors also in a balanced manner. In the sense that when you're outdoors, you're going to explore the world, you're going to see the universe in your eyes, and you would ex um, experience firsthand a lot of things that would help you grow as a person. Who is the most fascinating person you've met? The most fascinating person I've met, honestly, the person that comes to mind is my mother. My mother and my father, because we have gone through it all, um, literally everything, and I've seen them overcome a lot. And when I see my mom um, succeeding victoriously with all the challenges that we have faced as a family, that just makes me so proud of her, and that just makes me want to be just like her someday. What are some movies you really enjoy? Um, there are a lot of movies that I I love cartoons and I feel like when I feel childlike and I love love stories and I feel very, very happy. But one of the things that I um, I really love is watching um, uh, movies about life. And one movie that I cannot forget is the movie about Forrest Gump because it has learned a lot about trials and overcoming labels and sometimes society labels as well.
had the world's attention for 30 seconds, what would you say? If I had 30 seconds for the world, uh, the world to listen to me, I want to tell the world to wake up. The time is now to do something with ourselves, to do something with ourselves.